The black taffeta gown worn by Diana, Princess of Wales, on her first official outing with her fiancé, Prince Charles, was sold at auction this week for £192,000. However, it was previously believed that she destroyed the dress, which was designed for her by Elizabeth and David Emmanuel, because the royal family, her then future in-laws, were so shocked when she wore it back in 1981, because by royal standards, it was considered to be pretty revealing. So, when it comes to our own in-laws, how eager were you ladies to impress? Oh, I was really keen to impress Paul's mum when, um, because I really, really fancied him and I wanted him to really like me and I thought, if his mum likes me, then he'll like me. Um, that, sometimes that works, you know. It's true. I'm well, still I tell you what, her, actually. you haven't got much of a hope if his mother doesn't like you. No, that's very true, actually. And, um, and it was kind of arranged that I would go over there and meet her on a sort of formal thing and he'd already said to her that he was going out with an actress and she told me this when she met me. She said, oh, I did think when he said I'm going out with an actress, oh, what's he going to bring home here then? <laughs> so I knew I had my work cut out. But I, I think it's important because if... I like to get on with, like, mums and dads and nans and granddads. I think I, I'm a very family-orientated person, and I think, um, I mean, it was quite difficult on the day because at the time I smoked and, uh, and I was desperate for a cigarette, and I asked her if she minded if I, if I had a cigarette and um, thought she'd be cut... because I'd worked on her quite a bit. And uh, she was deeply offended, actually. Uh -huh. she, I, I, she sort of... I went outside and had a cigarette. I mean, I love her, we get on brilliantly, but I don't think that was a very good thing to do on the first no. Didn't thing. score you a huge point. No, I mean, she knows what I'm really like now, and um, there's no point in pretending. It's just... Oh, it's very depressing. <laughs> really, it? Whatever you make up initially, it's all going to come out in the wash anyway. This yeah. is it. I, yeah. um, I, when I got married to my Italian husband, I, again, actually, I didn't want... Because they're Italian, you know, when you read Italian rag mags, they're full of girls who are going to be an actress, and I didn't want them to think I was like that. <laughs> and, um, I like and a loose woman. Been, and I'd be a loose woman, yes. I'd been married before, so we couldn't get married in a church, so I couldn't have a wedding dress. But I went to the trouble of buying a dress that was nearly a wedding dress, in that it was very lacy and it was kind of off pink. You know, <laughs> sort of said it all, really. <laughs> <laughs> And then, but I don't know why I bothered really, but then when they all came over here to England again to meet us in the restaurant, we had a restaurant, and I really wanted to impress them with my skills as a housewife, so I was on all fours, scrubbing, and I looked up, and they were all stood there immaculately dressed, you know, and I was left going, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, wrong, and it didn't work out, and I divorced them. Like so there you are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bless her. No, well, I think you've got absolutely um, a point to make there, Linda, which is, you know, you can make every good impression that you want to begin with, but if, if the relationship is going to uh, run and run... Don't scrub the floor? Exactly. Well, no, no they're going to see you for who you really are, and vice versa. Yeah, but you have to give it time. You don't want to let the cat out of the bag straight away. <laughs> I think, and, 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 and don't also, you? Well, yeah, no, I, 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 like to, um, I like to create a good impression, because also they really liked Paul's ex as well, his family. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. So you kind of... You've got to compete. You, you, well, you, yeah. I, you shouldn't really feel like you have to, but, but I you did, do. and, you know, she, they yeah. were big Of course they're going to compare girl. you. As soon as you're out the door, they're going to go, yeah. oh, yeah. I much preferred Carol. Yes, they probably <laughs> did. Oh, whatever her name was. Yeah. But actually, you know what was really nice? When I met my in-laws now, Joe and Marjorie, um, in fact, I, I've lost my mum and dad, and I was able to actually genuinely turn around and say, I'm going to make you my new mum. Oh. That worked a treat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good one. But my in-laws, my actual in-laws, in I had no problem with Dot. dot. She hates me calling her Dot. Well, I have now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we, we had a great, um, great relationship. But I went out with this quite posh boy once. I know me and a posh boy doesn't match, does it? Mm -hmm. And um, his mother was quite... Uh, well, I was quite intimidated by her because she, she, she looked... She, well, she frowned upon the fact that I had a child and I was, in, you know, a single mom and... And I knew that, and I thought, oh, God, how am I going to make an impression? I was really quite worried about it. I said to her, look, invite her over for dinner. I'll cook a nice roast. Took me hours in the kitchen. Jake was two and a half. I said, listen to me. <laughs> you, I will buy you anything you want. <laughs> Be the best behaved child ever, please. And he did, and I made this fabulous dinner. She sat there. She was very, very, very lovely dinner. Thank you very much. Uh, and I, I said, great, I'll just go and get the chocolate pudding. Jake sat there, and I was like... Good boy, good boy, made me so proud. Came back in, we all had the, we all had finished dessert, coffee came out. I was thinking, I've done it, I've done it. There's no way this woman cannot be impressed with me and my homely life. And even my son, look at him, look at his behaviour. I was thinking, she's got to love him. And uh, she said, oh, it was a beautiful dinner, thank you very much. And I said, well, you know, Jake, well done, you've been a very good boy. And he went, yeah, mummy. And I went, yeah, and he went, <laughs> oh my god i can't even 
funny than, and he thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever done, and I laughed like a brick. She never cracked her face. <laughs> I, may have, I may have not have bothered cooking the whole thing oh, done. Ruined by one Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined.